What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Morrison. Today guys, I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on speed ramping. It's a technique that I typically use a lot and a lot of filmmakers and videographers and just creatives in general typically use this technique. Speed ramping is a great way to add some flair to your edits. It's a great way to kind of transition between clips, enhance movement in a video. If I was doing like a flip on a bike or something like that, you could speed ramp that to go slow to fast or fast to slow or whatever. It's just a great tool to stylize your videos and stuff like that. And like I said, a lot of filmmakers, videographers, and people of the sort tend to use that technique. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to speed ramp. There's two different ways that I have learned thus far how to speed ramp. One, I prefer more than the other, just because I think it's a lot easier. I think run into a lot less problems, but you guys can be the judge. Feel free to put it down in the comments after this video is done. Let me know which one works better for you. Or maybe you have another another way to speed ramp. I think to my knowledge, there's only two ways in Premiere Pro. But yeah, yeah. So uh, we're going to go from there. Like I said, this is going to be a Premiere Pro video. If you use Final Cut, whatever like that, I'm sorry. Uh, honestly, I'm jealous of you because Premiere has been uh, giving me some issues lately. But without further ado, let's jump into this video. So we're going to hop right into Premiere Pro. I have two clips from my most recent video. I went out and filmed a little quick sequence with me and my boy, we were out in NYC. I wanted to try and capture just the vibe, you know, just the day that we were out there, just a quick little trip overview. So anyways, I have these two clips inside of Premiere, um, one of like this little statue that we saw and then one where I had him kind of sit on this railing so I could do a quick zoom in of his face. Feel free to watch the NYC video. It'll be down in the description and on the end cards of this video so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about but for the sake of this video what we're going to do is we're going to go on this clip i'm going to show you guys the first way to speed ramp so what you want to do is you want to click whatever clip you are looking to speed ramp for me it's going to be this first clip right here you're going to go up to your effects controls tab which is right here you're going to want to hit speed you're going to hit the clock right here excuse me as i'm a little sick but you want to hit the clock right here that's what's going to allow you to add keyframes and what keyframes are is essentially they help you kind of map movement or track certain effects or whatever it is and it allows you to kind of manipulate where something is going to be or say if you have like opacity and you want your video to fade in you can make it go from really dark to bright uh, man there's a lot of things you can do with keyframes but keyframes will just allow you to kind of control and manipulate how you want a certain effect or uh, a certain movement to to kind of play out in your video which is the best way i can kind of try to explain that off the fly so what you want to do is you want to come over here this little circle right here is your keyframes and you can kind of place them wherever you see fit on the timeline right here so for me um i want to play this video back so we can just kind of see what we're working with all right very short clip i'm going to place my keyframe right towards the end here because what i want to make happen is a speed ramp from this clip right here and it's going to transition into this clip right there and as you guys can see it's kind of a a jarring cut it's not very clean uh not very professional it just kind of looks really awkward so a great way to kind of help that transition more seamlessly is to place a keyframe and have that speed ramped into each other so what you're gonna do is place a keyframe right there um this line right here you want to click that you want to drag it upwards and what that's going to do is you guys can see um on the screen right here uh, you can kind of see the velocity going up sometimes it doesn't show very clearly what the velocity is which is why i don't really like doing it this way but right now it seems to be working we're going to place the speed at 350 which i think is going to be a good speed to do it at right there um oh right 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 so one thing that's very important guys i'm actually glad that this just popped up on the screen if you have a prior effect to warp stabilizing a clip you're not going to be able to put two effects on the same clip so what you want to do is you're going to come down here click on the clip that, that is giving you a problem right click there um and you want to hit nest now i have a keyboard shortcuts so i can just hit alt n and then uh, i go straight to nesting that clip and what that allows you to do it allows you to add another effect on there without getting an error saying that you can't add speed or whatever with warp stabilizer on that clip so anyways back to the speed ramping i just want you guys to know that's very important so we're going to put our keyframe right there now we're finally going to be able to add that speed back to 350. what you're going to do is you're going to drag this second portion of the keyframe over to the end i'm going to actually start it maybe a little earlier and you're going to take this you're going to click on it this little blue thing on the screen allows you to control kind of how seamless and how smooth you want the transition to the speed ramp to be i could easily not manipulate this little blue thing right here and just kind of have the speed ramp look like this which is fine um but i typically mess with this because instead of a jarring like slow to fast or fast to slow 
it kind of gradually ramps into the next clip or ramps into whatever effect or whatever movement you want to do instead of being so uh, aggressive and abrupt. So I'm going to do that. I actually might put the speed up a little bit more. And what we're going to do, that is pretty good. Not crazy, but for the sake of the video, you guys get the point. So we're going to have that there. We're going to move over to the second clip. And what I want to do is add the keyframe right there. Right as we're approaching his face, we kind of see his chin there. And on this clip, we're going to add another keyframe, toggle that down. We're going to put the speed, see, we're like right now, it's not showing the velocity or the speed that we're putting it at, which is why I don't like doing it this way. But we're going to put it kind of up there. I think that might be quick enough. All right, so it's ramping into this clip. What we're going to do is pull right over here, right as we approach kind of his mouth and his chin. That's where we want the keyframe to be because that's where we want it to start slowing down. We're going to put that keyframe right there. We're going to drag this line right up. Like I told you guys, um, I can't see the speed, which is why I don't like doing it this way. So we're going to just kind of feel it out. That seems like it's going to be pretty quick. I don't really need audio. We're going to unlink that and get rid of it. It's just distracting. Click back on our clip over here. Drag this over to the beginning because on this clip, it's ending. So you're ending with it going from slow to fast. On the next clip, you're beginning with it going from fast to slow. So let me play it without even toggling the, the little blue squiggly that you guys can see to make it seamlessly go from fast to slow or slow to fast instead of having an abrupt kind of transition there. And you know, that is okay, but it's not as smooth as it could be. All right, you guys are kind of seeing the transition there instead of that hard cut that we saw earlier. So you wanna come over here, like I said, we're going to kind of toggle that, make it a little more smooth. Might even take the speed down. doesn't need to be so aggressive. Mm, kind of have it right there. I typically like it to look like that. And let's play that back. Let's kind of see how that's looking. Now. Like I said, not the most smooth. Obviously, I'm not gonna try to picture, make it picture perfect for the sake of the video, but you guys can kind of see there how speed ramping can be used to transition to another clip or just make things kind of look a lot more seamless, a lot more smooth in terms of uh, helping the, the flow or helping the story go from one portion to the next. As you guys can see, I'll play it back one more time. And if you wanted to go a step further, you could even add a directional blur. Typically, that's what I do. I add a directional blur on there that way. This is even more seamless and you, it kind of hides the cut even further. Yes, we're, we're going from, you know, fast to slow, but it helps that kind of, like I said, kind of masks the transition even more. But for the sake of that, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to show you guys the second way that you can speed ramp. So what you want to do now, this is the way I prefer to speed ramp. And it, I think it is much, much easier instead of going up here in the effects controls panel. I, I just don't even bother. Typically, I kind of move the video track up a little bit so you have more, more room to work. You want to go over here to effects, right click, time remapping, speed. Same thing on the second clip over here, effects, time remapping, speed. And we're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to give it a little bit more time. So we're going to move it back here. Now, instead of doing the keyframes up here in the effects controls panel, like I said, it's on the clip itself this time. So you want to do is you want to come over here. You want to see where the, where the keyframes are over to the left. Click on it right there. That's where you want your, your uh, keyframe to be. And it's so much easier because it shows you the speed directly right there, 159%. We're going to put it all the way up to 300%. Boom, right there. We're going to drag that over like I told you guys earlier. Toggle that so it's a lot more smooth of a transition. Move our second clip over. Same thing. We're going to come right there, I think. We'll do it a little earlier this time. Boom, right there. Drag this up. 350 drag this over and this is I, the reason why i love doing it this way is because you can literally see the ramp take form and you know like you can visualize kind of how it's going to be instead of the in, in the effects controls panel where uh you would have to physically go to each clip to see it like you can see it on the track itself and you can kind of get a feel for how it's going to ramp into each clip so let me drag that over a little more boom drag it over a little more Maybe let that be a little more seamless. And let's play that back and let's kind of see how that's looking. Now, kind of abrupt, let's slow it down. Maybe 250, I think 300 is a little overkill. Um, maybe even drag this up a little bit. I don't really like the way that was looking. Uh, kind of do it more seamless than that. 
Now, for the sake of the video, I kind of like that. And just so I'm gonna quickly show you guys the directional blur. So let me add a directional blur on there. Actually, I have that down here. What you wanna do is you wanna add the 90 degree angle to the blur. It kind of helps, like I said, mask that transition. It looks a lot smoother than having it be up and down. Instead, it's left to right. Um, you wanna add keyframes once again. We'll start the blur right towards the end of the clip. Add a keyframe for blur length. Put the keyframe right there at 0% because you wanna start it off with no blur. Move it over right there, add a keyframe. We'll put the blur to 10%. Move that over here to the end of the clip. And that way you're going from no blur to full blur. And we'll do the same exact thing. Uh, that was on the end of that clip and you want it to start on the beginning of the, the following clip. That way they're blurring into each other like I said, start at the beginning of this clip, add a keyframe there. Now, instead of doing zero to 10%, to I think is what we did, we're gonna do 10 into zero. Now, as, as we're rendering these clips out, um, you guys are gonna kind of get a feel for how it looks when you add a speed ramp transition. Instead of letting these clips kind of do a hard cut into each other, you're gonna add that directional blur, help it be a more seamless transition. And you guys can kind of see how this can up the ante of the flow of your videos or just add a little bit of flair instead of, like I said, a hard cut. So let's play that back one last time. It wasn't perfect, but you can definitely see the difference. And let's get rid of everything here. Let's get rid of all the effects. Get rid of that. Same thing on this clip. Now we're going to play that back. No speed ramp, no directional blur. You guys are going to just see the raw clip once more. And like, you know, it, it might be passable. Me personally, I wouldn't do it that way because it just looks really awkward. And I don't like hard cuts if clips aren't meant to go together. Sometimes you can get away with it. That's just personally how I feel. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I didn't want to drag it out too long. Let me know if the tutorial could have been a little bit more concise. I'm just starting to do tutorials on this channel. It's not the main thing I want to do, but I also want to spread the knowledge. You guys might not know how to do stuff like this. And if I know, then I think it's a good way to not only grow my channel, but also spread the knowledge to my community of people. So like I said, my name is Jason Morrison, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I, I want to do more videos like this in terms of tutorials, uh, you know, lifestyle content, you know, self betterment, as I really want to kind of take my channel and use my uh, my videography filmmaking ability to highlight that as well as my journey becoming a filmmaker. If that sounds good to you, drop a like on this video, hit subscribe uh, and be along for the journey as well. My name is Jason Morrison, guys, more videos coming soon already. Deuces.